Good morning, ant people. I am so sorry I have been neglecting all of you folks out there. This is Paul. I'm looking at my um, my honeypot colony. I have um, over the winter they have uh, been in a diapause state, so I've kind of uh, let them be. Uh, I've gotten a lot of comments about why I uh, where I've been. Um, my Nova Master colonies, they've, they've been a little bit more active over the last month or so, but the honey pots, which I think uh, are the primary interest of uh, all my viewers, have been, uh, have been not very active. And, uh, but now that they're starting to move around again, I probably need to get my, my, uh, my ass in gear and start taking some more videos. Um, I'm kind of committing myself to getting a better camera, get some good editing software, and actually make some legitimate uh, videos for you folks. I'm blown away that uh, I have the that I have so many people actually watching but um, so I'm going to try to take this a little bit more seriously moving forward and get you guys some some solid videos, some good editing, editing some good production. Um, not quite there yet but I did want to get some content up for you. I'm going to switch over to the nest here. Okay so here we are in the nest. These guys have been uh, I've left them alone um, for several months now, so I really haven't been bothering them, so I don't think they're going to really dig the light, but okay, so we've got our two big repletes, they are, uh, they're still there, looks like we got some new repletes uh, in the works, there's our, our queen. Some some healthy larvae. So yeah, it looks like they've been doing doing well. Yeah, there's a new replete there in the back. God, she's a big girl. These are this is such a cool species. And as always, I gotta give my shout out to Mac over at Tar Hill Ants. Provides some phenomenal formicariums for those of you that are getting into ant keeping. Spend the money up front, pick up a formicarium. Um, they're so much, they're, they're superior in every way to a test tube setup. This is a mini hearth, which uh, has become my, um, my favorite um, formicarium. Um, 30, 35 bucks or you know he's always coming up with some new stuff and he's always got specials but spend the money it's worth it you'll be happy uh, you're not gonna you know I, I've had a ton of success with these especially new queens that I start out right in the the mini hearth opposed to a test tube and try to transport some species are better than others but uh, this is a way to go with that guys I'm gonna sign off and we'll talk to you soon thanks again for watching and hate to sound like youtubers but if you like it like and subscribe. Thanks.